In today's video, I'm going to show you how to control the sun in your photos. Hey, what's up? It's Chris from Rooker Films, and in today's video, I'm going to talk all about the sun rays feature in this amazing photo editing software called Luminar. I've only been using this software for about a month now, and every time I use it, I seem to find a new feature that I really like and I really enjoy. And one of my favorite features is a plugin called Sun Rays. Now, the whole point of Sun Rays is to add fake digital sun rays into your photos that look really realistic. So, without further ado, let's jump straight into Luminar and let's look at this amazing plugin. So, once you're inside of Luminar and you have your image you want to go through and you want to add a filter. So let's go up to add filters and we want to scroll down to sun rays. So the first is place the sun center and this is basically placing the light and you want to match this up to a point in your image where there's a big bright light. So in this example that is the sun. Now if we go down to sun rays we have amounts and this is just basically how intense the sun rays are. I don't like to overdo this I like to keep it quite subtle so I keep this to a smaller number. We can adjust the number of sun rays that we have in the image. We have length and this is the length of the sun rays in the photo and I like to keep these relatively long. So let's go for 63. And then the warmth is the color temperature of the light. As you can see, if I have this down to zero, then the light almost looks blue and it doesn't match the sunset. So I wanna pull this all the way up to 100 to keep it nice and warm. In the sun section we have the radius and this is basically like your glow as you can see there's a bit of glow there's some slight flaring coming through so go through and play with that the glow radius is the size of the glow i love this i think it looks really cool so i'm going to boost up to 100 percent glow amount same type of thing the warmth again is your color balance so that is the color temperature of your sun flare and then if we go into overall we have penetration and that is basically the intensity I don't like to go overkill here because I think it looks too artificial if you go all the way up to 100%. So I'm going to keep this roughly in the middle. And now the last slider that we have is randomize. And this is kind of like pulling a name out of a hat. You don't know what you're going to get, but you could end up with some really good results. And now if we go up to the eyeball at the very top, you can see if we toggle this off, you can see how much of a difference that this effect has made. Now the summaries filter is really easy to use and you can achieve some incredible results from this. So take this time to learn the software, get used to the plugin, and if you do take a photo and use the summaries filter, then please do send it to me on Twitter because I would love to see what you have created. And that's it. That is how you add digital sun rays to your photos in Luminar. Thank you for watching this video. I really do truly appreciate it. If you did enjoy it, then please do let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell icon, and I will see you tomorrow for the next video. Thank you for watching.